The city of Cape Coral is talking about extending the moratorium on new car washes and storage units. You are looking live at tonight's meeting. Many families who live in nearby neighborhoods argue these businesses ruin property values. And experts say the Cape has more car washes and storage units than the industry standards for a city that size. NBC 2's Kennedy Mason is in Cape Coral, walking us through what leaders are considering tonight. Kennedy. Almost everywhere you turn in Cape Coral, you'll find a car wash like Tommy's Express Car Wash or storage units. Residents say they've had enough. Whether it's a place to clean your car or a place to store your items, Cape Coral resident Aaron Lester says it's like embarrassing for our like I think it's embarrassing for our infrastructure because there's so many better things we could be using this space for. Lester says she feels like the car washes are taking away real estate for outdoor activities. She's not a fan of the storage units everywhere either. It's like there's a lot of people who will leave a lot of trash and things like that that comes along with it. Tonight City Council is going over the regulations for building more car washes and storage units. One of the proposed changes is keeping car washes at least one mile apart. Can we bulldoze them? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, I just wish I just hope that they are able to regulate it so it's not just every block there's a another field being taken up and becoming a car wash when even it could become housing. It could become so many things that are better than just a car wash that you could go three feet down the road and just do, go do the same thing or just wash it in your driveway. Maggie Krauthamel lives right behind Tommy's Express Car Wash. She says she's been dealing with the noise for months. She's tried talking to the car wash's owner, but he won't budge. We want to discuss putting a barrier wall up to protect us from the sound when the car wash opens because as you can see, all these vacuums are right along here. Her next step, talk to city council. She and her neighbors haven't been able to use their lanai's all summer because of the dirt flying around and the sound from construction. Who wants to spend their morning coffee and all they hear is dryers going? Like, that sucks. City Council is hearing from people right now during the public hearing portion of the meeting. This is the first of two public hearings on this very topic. I'm live in Cape Coral, Kennedy Mason, NBC2. Well, let's show you now why Cape Coral may limit more storage units. The city proposed capping storage unit space to 10 square feet per resident. So based on a population of about 213,000 people, that equals 2.13 million square feet of storage space. Well, the city is well over that already with more than 3 million square feet of storage space. As the population grows though, so then could added storage units.